Hey guys, what is going on? It's Intel 365 bringing you a Photoshop tutorial today. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do now. Okay, so you saw the effect now, what we're going to be covering today. Uh, just before um, I actually do the tutorial, FYI, this isn't me saying to everyone this is how you do this effect, go and do it yourself uh, in regards to people requesting banners I I will never turn people away with banners you know I will always do banners for people, this, this just might spark a bit of creativity with some people and they might think oh I'll have a go myself um, if not feel free to contact me uh, through YouTube, Skype, Facebook or Twitter and I'll make sure to get straight back onto you and get a design done for you I have got a queue of people at the moment, so I'm slowly getting through them uh, with work and everything else, but I will always make time for everyone. Okay, so you saw the effect and you saw what we're going to be doing today, so let's jump straight into it. First thing you want to do is grab your text, uh, a text layer, make the size a bit bigger. Okay, that'll probably do for now. And this can be done with any uh fonts you know if you go into the font i'll put a link in the description if you go onto there and you find a text that you want to represent your channel then that that's fine you can use that and all you want to do is just go into bet between each letter and press space to make a space in between each each letter just separates it and makes this effect more more appealing so when you've got that obviously I've, I'm using four images for today's tutorial, but you might be using seven or ten, or you know, you might be. It, it works with the, as many images as you want. Um, so with the text, we're just going to rasterize that layer by right-clicking on the text layer. If I wiggle my mouse, I'm sorry about that; it'll freeze otherwise. So rasterize that layer by right-clicking on the layer and rasterize type. Okay, so now you've got that and the. Uh, that's all your text sorted. Now what you want to do is create a new layer. Now for each letter you're going to marquee round them using the marquee tool up here. You're going to marquee round them and make uh, each letter a different colour. One that's like project management and two it's necessary for this effect. You've got to have that. So there's your text layer. You've got to make a new layer on top and then we're going to mark around each text. I'm doing this dreadfully uh, you know rushing this because it is a tutorial um, but you guys make sure there's no white left behind them you'll see what I mean in a sec so we're just gonna go around here and make sure the background colors not white it can be any color no one's gonna see it so I'm gonna do pink as an example no one's gonna see it and you wanna press control delete so now you'll see on that new layer it's gone, it's filled in that colour with uh, pink on a new layer. Now you don't want um, any of this white stuff here, I mean I don't really want it for the, t uh, for the tutorial purpose either. So I'm just going to quickly mark, speed this up and mark them out. Okay guys, so we've done that. There probably is more white edges, but that that's okay for tutorial purposes. You will make sure you've gone round every line properly. Uh, so now what you want to do is make a new layer again. And you want to go around the E now. So I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you're not just watching me for hours on end doing this. Okay guys, so we've done that now, we've got our individual text layers with the colours on them. Um, now if you've got the letter the same as the other one, if you've got two letters that are the same and you've already marked one out then, you know, you can if you want, but all I would do is just select which letter you want duplicating, press Control J and then just move it over to the other, the other letter. 
Um, if you want to go around them all again, that's your decision and your time wasted. But if you don't, then just do that. Okay, so now we've got each layer. Now, I would suggest doing them all at the beginning. Get all your letters done and marked out like so. Because uh, that is all the boring rubbish done. And now you can, you know, start importing your images. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one on my first letter. This is going to go on to on the T, so it's got to go in the layers section over here. It's actually got to go on top of that. So it's behind these, but it's on top of the T. Now this is clipping masking. Um, so when it's on top of there, this is uh, cl clipping masking. So um, the image is the image has got to be on top of the letter. So I want this image on top of that letter T, so I'm going to right click on the image and create clipping mask. And that's just going to wrap it around that that certain uh, text. That certain letter. Sorry. Okay. So we're just going to move that up about where we want it. And I want it about there. So that looks good to me. You'll notice if you haven't done... Uh, the last step properly with the colouring, you'll have white lines um, and the image will look a bit odd. You'll have sort of white edges around bits you don't want. Um, but I've done that one pretty well. So we're going to edit this image first. Uh, now, paintbrushes, I'll put a pack in the description by Sens and I'll also put a link to his channel. I'm sure he made these and he uploaded these. This is where I got them from. Um, but you, if you type into Google paint splatter, uh, free Photoshop brushes, you'll find ton, you know millions of them. So just find some that look like paints uh, or blood splatters um, for this effect. You can also do lines as well, but uh, mainly we're looking for paint splatters and things like that. So I've got literally thousands of friggin' brushes there, so I'm gonna have to have a look through them. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so this is just an example, guys, just to show you, um, you know, how this is effect done. You'll take a lot longer, and you'll select really cool brushes to use for this effect. But what I will do is open up my brushes here. Now, if that's not there, uh, it'll be up in Window and uh, Brushes, which is there. And then you just slide that over to there, so it's out the way. Okay, so you want to... And in this section now, you can change the size, you can change the angle of the brush, which is a big thing that you'll find you'll need uh, for this certain effect, and also the space in uh, the brush too. Okay, so that's pretty good for now, for what we want. So what we're going to do is just, no, the other way around, what am I doing? So we're just going to tilt it so it's that way around. And now you'll notice, once you select the brush that you like, if you go onto the text layer, uh, the colour layer of that, not the image, and you just click with your brush, it'll actually mark out the image from the black background. Really cool effect. So if you mark out one there, you might be able to see it just. Um, so we've got that bit of effect there, maybe... Maybe one up there. Oh, yeah, that looks okay. Now you want to select a different brush, and you want to keep it as varied as you want because you just you don't want the same brush going over and over again, you know, because it will just look quite. I mean, that's kind of similar. Um, it will just look, you know, very the same, same old, same old, and it it just wouldn't have any effect really. So I'm just scouring through all the different ones I've got. Uh, I like that, just to add a bit of splatter somewhere. You'll take ages doing this. Um, I'm going to actually speed this up because I'm going to take a little bit of time so you can really see the effect. Um, uh, but I'm not going to take as much time as you guys will. Okay, guys.
Okay guys, so you might have saw me there like flickering through, I know it was very fast, but you might have saw me flickering through each, wow, that's big, um, you know, different brushes and having a good explore of what I want, um, so that's, you know, getting there, that still looks a bit messy, and it does, you know, it looks like I haven't took time, if that makes any sense, so, you know, if you do rush this effect, it, it will come across as you just sort of splattered around a bit. So another cool effect we can do um, before I quickly speed speed through doing the rest of the images um, is, which I'll show you now, if you put the brush hardness to about 15 and then the size to whatever you need it, if you just... I'm just trying to get the head of the layer properly. Yeah, okay. So now, if you want the T, because it's obviously got to make sense, it's got to look like the the actual letter as well, you know, it's got to define a T. But if you want that gun, which is also, oh god, it's, which is also a cool effect, you want a brush as well, not, um, you want your rubber, um, if you want that gun to be sticking out of the text, which is, looks really quite awesome, um, if you select that layer, and you want to use your brush tool, I was right in the beginning, and then just use a normal brush, no splatters or nothing, and just mark out the gun from the black. Um, maybe on yours it might be a sword or something, um, but just keep playing with the size, making it smaller when you need to. Um, just keep marking out the gun. I'm doing this very quickly as always, so never do uh, what I do, make sure you make, you know, take a lot of time. I'm sure if you... Uh, I'm just trying to make a... yeah. So, oh god, I'm doing it again. So you just want to mark out the gun. And if you hit a snag, so if you hit a part that's actually not gun, I mean you're going to make sure you know yours is top top notch, you know, um, and is perfectly around the gun. This is not, and I'm finding it hard why this gun is so long. <laughs> Dear Lord, look how long that fucking barrel is. Um, so you don't want any of these bits I've left on. You know, you literally just want to mark out the gun. Um, that's where you get the big effect, the really cool looking effect. And if I mark out, it looks alright there. You know, it doesn't look too bad there. But if you had not done any of that and got the gun really to find out, it would look awesome on that T with the splatter effect over it. So I'm going to really rush through now and do the other three images and text and we can see the final image. Okay guys, see you in a sec.
Okay guys, so that's a bit of a demo for you guys. Um, I've done that very quickly and I've tried to just show that you can, it's not only splatters you can do, but it's all different things. Uh, I've gone a bit overboard on that one there, because um, you don't want it to cross too much, otherwise it'll look like that, you know, a bit of a royal mess. Also, these lines here, you want to sort of try and make them wobbly and painty, not left straight, so it really it keeps the... Um, keeps the letter, but it you know it looks like it's been splattered on, and also that effect. If you didn't know what I did there for this, where the gun sticks out, <coughs> I duplicated that layer, so you get the full image. It's in the exact same spot, but then I just made the opacity right down so I could paint out easier. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that effect, and th there'll be more. Uh, tutorials coming tomorrow alright guys take care